Hey, Gavin. What? Fuck you. Okay. James Potter was a bully. Yes. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome to uh, the, 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 the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, my brother Cody, Mad Dolphin. He cares. Shut would up. Not, I'm, I'm sorry tragedy. that I made the art. I'm but. asking tragedy. He's a uh, random star. Okay. And, uh, here we are for another podcast. What are we talking about today, Jack? Uh, that's not my name. It's not your fault. That's not my name. Okay. Say it right. Hack. Hey. What would be your dream job? What would be my dream job? Yeah, storyboard artist for Cartoon Network. And there's another question that just flew back by. What? There's a question that just flew back by. Uh huh, okay. I was hoping this would take 10 minutes. No. Oh. I guess on there's a I total of three you questions. Too by the way. much. But anyways, continue. If you could change three things about the country, what would you change? The country? Yeah. Uh, I'm getting rid of Texas, so we can have a country in between us and Mexico. Not like for any particular reason, but because I think it would be cool. Uh, I think we should flood Wyoming. Why? I don't know. Like, the thought just came to me. I was like, well, if we made Wyoming just underwater. And then finally, uh, I would run for president and make us, like, super free boys. No, that sounds good. Uh, okay. Okay, you're blowing by these questions. Slow as fuck now. Can you get that run time up, boys? Okay. So, would you want super speed, teleportation, or flight? I'm the one that created this question oh, are you months now? ago, and you already know my answer. It's teleportation. Explain. Explain? Yes. Okay. Uh, because I created this, I know that the max speed is just Mach 2 for running. And flight, the only thing that's really added there is that you could breathe in space. So you know what? Teleportation is better because you could just teleport into Fort Knox and just get the ship and leave. And like, and if you and you're like, oh, with Mach speed two, you can do that. You're gonna run through. Sensors are gonna find out. You're gonna have to try and figure out all the passwords. You're wasting time. But in teleportation, you just teleport in there. Just like with, you can have a Dollar General bag and just put a couple lumps of gold in there and then just sell them later. I mean, it is what it is. What it is. <laughs> oh, that's an end of the crew. Sugar Ray riding true. <laughs> so, uh, how about this Metroid Prime that you like? What about it? I was hoping we could get it fucked. <laughs> Please, uh, what about this Metroid Prime? Like, what about it, Ty? Huh? Why do you like it? Why do I like it? It looks really good for the time that it came out. It was a first person Metroid game. Mm, just so good to get to the war fall and just fucking fuck all their shit up. The first boss is really cool, and you see Ridley, and you have to go to the fucking. Uh, Planet and you have to fight that charge dude. We have to side jump and kick that ass. So like the third one's like the fucking plant, and then that's when you get the Valerian suit. It looks like baller as hell. It's just a great game with great mechanics for the time that it came out of, and I love it with all of my heart. But do you love Pikmin more? No. Okay, moving on. So, Smash Bros, th- this new trailer has popped out. Okay. What do you think of that? What am I supposed to think? I mean, okay. I put here on the notes for some reason, Super Smash Bros. Melee versus new, new Smash Bros. trailer. 
and I just How now. How the hell am I gonna have to compare that? I have no clue. Why, why did I put this? It's a fucking teaser versus a fleshed out game that's been out for over a decade. Multiple decades, possibly. I'm just saying. Well, I don't give a shit about melee. What what do you have here for melee? Nothing at all. I just don't care. What well, okay. Alright, we can talk about Brawl. I've never played Brawl. Brawl is so good, like nostalgic. Melee is like nostalgic, but yeah. Brawl has like this Mine awesome storyline. Um, Listen here, buddy. One for the Wii U. Play that one was stupid. Lucaria. What? Oh, you only like it because Lucario's in it. Yeah, I'm straight. Ugh, you fool. Mm. Why did you not like it? It was just like... It was just melee. Oh, you mean, more characters. Oh, you mean uh, it was a party game? Because that's what yeah, it, it is? Yeah. No shit. Brawl had a good story, and I liked it. Should have had that. Honestly, the only thing I and remember I, I from that time... I hope this new one will have a good story. The only too. thing I remember from that time is that around the time Brawl came out, so the fucking Super Mario Soccer, so... Oh, no. Which I did play yeah, that. I, I, I played that really well. Yeah. Oh, thanks, game. Oh, yeah. Now what do you want from me, bitch? Black Panther, what did you think of that? Uh, it was boring. It was oh, hell. yeah. I, li- I told you this. Go in depth. In depth, depth for the. In, in like, depth. I already knew T'Challa was going to live because the Infinity War trailer came out before the movie came out. So when there's this giant ass chunk of, oh no, he's dead, you're just like, no, in fact, he's. So fun, he's actually walking and talking as a new beard. He looks cool. Oh, the way it looks, way it makes me die. Um, I don't think there was really any good action set pieces. Um, the best part of it was Killmonger, especially the one scene where Killmonger's talking to his dad and it's flashing between. His like younger self and his like present self, and then his dad's like, "Hey man, uh, we're lost or whatever." So you're not really looking for us. It's like, "Well, maybe they're lost." It's like, "Ooh, got him, got him, got him." Maybe in that pod or something. And hey, welcome back to Oakland. And other than that, it was really boring. I didn't really care. Best character was Claw. I have to mention the more of those things. No, I already mentioned it. it. I have to mention it again. No, no. I didn't expect it. I mean, I knew about it, but then yeah, when it, it got coming. to the part, when it got to the part, I did. I for, had forgotten that was in the movie. In the moment it got to it, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is here," I and actually, I was instantly pissed. See, when I was watching the, I had an empty theater. Uh, when I was watching the movie, I was like. Ten seconds before it happened, I was like, oh yeah, there's going to be a what are those joke in here. Then like ten seconds passed, it's like, what are those? I'm like, stop. No, no, stop. He is a king. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, there was one good action set piece. It's with Pucky, uh, T'Challa and our killbonger. Ugh, or fighting in the water, you know, like, the power of the Black Panther shall be pulled away, and then, like, fucking T'Challa drinks a drink, and he just gets his ass whooped. And just like, so this your king, huh? And he, like, kicks him in the room, and he's like, this your king? <laughs> just like, yeah, we all kings over here. <laughs> and he falls, and he's like, I was king! <laughs> we was king. That was a good you. I was drinking a good old you. So yeah, that's that's all of the things that I had, and I actually thought it would be fleshed out a lot. My lunch room. Yeah, so now we gotta make up stuff on the spot to fill in like what. Okay, we're gonna start doing things. Uh, fucking, fucking, fucking. How are you? Mm. 
Ask me some stuff, actually. I'm not Exactly, you jap. You dumb bitch. But ever, ever, ever since my, my job. Here's the thing. <coughs> yeah. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Ever since James Potter rolled through, I was making sure that I wasn't on mute the entire fucking time. Nah, it wasn't. I was, I was looking. Understandable. Uh, yeah, this podcast isn't going so well, is it? Ah! Yeah, I probably couldn't do that 12 o'clock at night. There's a person prepared to just say you want to do podcasts. I'm like, yeah, sure. To be and honest, when we first started the first one, we pulled like three topics together and then it was like rock and boil through these gay ass stupid questions. Listen, I get that to crank. The ball of shit that you pulled your sites from, just pull it back up again and keep asking me questions. I know, you're, right, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. Aren't you retarded? Aren't you gay? Hey, I'm off ball and bicep here. Okay, so how many split things do you have? Six. Alright. What's your favorite restaurant? Uh, fast food or normal? Both. Uh, fast food at the Taco Bell. Uh, normal at the time, yeah. Um... What would be your dream job? Didn't I answer this earlier? Did you? Yeah, yeah. you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one stupid. thing. What would, would you do if you... If, what the fuck did they put? What would you do if you had enough money to not need a job? I would do just that. Uh, I would be lazy and fuck around for the rest of my entire of life. I'm just going to skip through one of these, just scroll around and then like, Okay. Hey, let's see. Hurry, bitch. Why? You're getting a lot of air time just sitting here. Well, we're not what do you mean? I'm, I'm just stalling for the time I slot want to go end. get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> what music artist do you never get tired of? Um, damn sex fan. That's Joy. Either. I don't care, shut the fuck up. But who the fuck is that? How am I supposed to explain it to you if you don't know? It's just a sort of rock slash like pop type thing, so keep uh-huh. going. Okay. Uh, what music are you? What the fuck are you? How did you meet your best friend? I don't have one. Uh, who's your favorite actor slash actor? Uh, favorite actor, um, Jake Gyllenhaal, favorite actress, uh, mm, Dave Chappelle. Where's the strangest place you've ever been? Ever been? Yeah. Honestly, every place I've been has been quite small. Uh, <laughs> yes, so. Why are you, you just scrolling through questions again? It's great. Because there's like 70 questions and you just don't want to read them? Um, What's the most relaxing situation you can imagine? Uh, laying on titties. Okay, I doubt it. Why are you a horny bastard? Hey, 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 speak for yourself. Show, movie, or book. Here's the thing, I can accept my horny bastard. It's usually just like, yeah, laying on titties. It's like, shut the fuck up. Um, anyways, who's your favorite character from a TV show, movie, and or book? Peter Robinson from Winnie the Pooh. 
Who the fuck is that? He's the kid. That's Christopher Robin, you jackass. Who did I say? Like Peter Robinson or something? Who the fuck is that? Is that from fucking Meet the Robinsons? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you spend most of your time? Uh, in my room. Jerk it. Mm. What? What? Mm, uh, okay. Again, back to the... You horny bastard that's so fucking stupid. Um... Mm, what is most... Fucked up shit you've done when you were bored. Dude, I actually think I know the answer to this. And it's you making a five second video of you throwing an egg at the floor. <sighs> yeah. It is what it is. It is now you it. ask me questions, fat bitch. Okay. What's the most ridiculous thing you've done because you were bored? Mm, mine, uh. leads to, uh. My, the answer to that would cause questions of my sexual uh, prowess, so I'm going to uh, not answer that. How many other countries have you visited? None. Thank you. What's your favorite? No. What? What? Go back to that. What's your favorite band name? Band name? Yeah. What? What's my favorite band? Shit. Hmm. Yours is new to sex party, isn't it? Damn yeah, straight. Um, my favorite band. Ah. Star set. Ah, uh, of course, of course. There it is. There it is. You already know who it is. Random SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Froze Cold. It's your boy ice so cold you gonna catch pneumonia. Ah! Continue. What's your favorite holiday, my dude? Halloween. What? Oh, what do you miss about life 10 or 20 years ago? Well, well you see, 10 years ago, um. Uh, I was. No, well, nothing was good. My life is better now than it's ever been, so, you know. Thank God. Like, <laughs> flashback 10 years ago, I was in severe poverty. And now I'm in lower middle class. You're going up in the lower I'm going. I'm glowing up, boys. Yeah, I'm, glo I'm glowing up, help. <laughs> Please, I have swollen. I, I am about to implode. Continue. <laughs> what do you never get tired of? What do I do with it now? Correct. Oh, get, get, have your thoughts of getting fucked. Okay, it's time for you to ask me some questions again. Mm. Okay, we're going to set a limit seven questions for each one of us. Awesome. Um, what took you way too long to figure out? What? Um, what took you way too long to figure out? Is that all? Yeah. I have no clue. Okay. Um, <laughs> where, what are these fucking questions? What is this called? First date questions? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> no, I got this. Uh, I got this. <laughs> Hold up. Entertain the audience while uh, I do this. Mm, I got some more. Meeting a pop party over here.
I do be. <laughs> When a loved one says, I'm gay, the stages of grief. <laughs> Hold up. Please name the stages. The stages of grief. Part one. When a loved one says, I'm gay. Wait, what is this? God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. <laughs> what is this? What? A mother... Okay! Focus on the family is what this site is called. And social issues. When the loved one says, I'm gay, the stages of grief, blah, blah, blah. It's basically the Christian response to gay children and or family members. Here's, I guess, the first part. Uh, uh, a mother's pain. Oh, God. Judy vividly recalls the day when she found out about her oldest son's homosexual involvement. As a young adult, Daryl had moved from the family home in Texas to California. Daryl and I had always been close, she explained, so it was difficult to see him go, but I knew he had to live his own life. Several months later, Judy received a long letter from him. Daryl shared some exciting news. I found someone that I cared deeply about, and I'm in a relationship that is completely fulfilling. Mm. <laughs> okay, Daryl. As Judy read further, however, her stomach lurched and she could hardly swallow. Daryl confessed that his romantic relationship involved another so, man. So, what's her name? What's her See, name? About what's her that? name? Dave. <laughs> I have had these strong feelings of attraction to men for as long as I can remember, he wrote, and I've always tried to hide them. Now he was coming out of the closet and living as he believed God intended. As he believed God intended. Judy was completely devastated. I screamed, I ranted, I cried. I felt like I was bleeding deep inside and there was no way to stop the gaping wound in my soul. He took a knife with, that says homosexuality on it and stabbed his mother. Learning that a love... See, like... After that, it says, like, a sort of, uh, quote from the Bible, and then it says, Learning that a loved one is struggling with homosexuality is extremely painful for several reasons. Homosexuality often involves a person's entire identity. Those who decide to embrace a gay identity may abandon beliefs and values that they once held dear. Some Christians mistakenly see this as the worst sin possible. People mistakenly believe that being like or being gay is unchangeable. What? What? Look, I'm gonna have to read. People mistakenly believe that being a lesbian or being gay is unchangeable. No, I will. I would. I would like to uh, throw, throw like two two tiny pennies in there and say, uh, sir, th thank you, wrong. <laughs> it's not unchangeable. I swear we have electrothermic therapy. I swear we can turn you back. I, you're not too far from the light, son. <laughs> God, that spike. Parents often feel responsible for their children and their children's choices. Barbara Johnson, author of Where Does a Mother Go to Resign, says finding out about a gay child is agony. It's almost like having a death in the family. When someone dies, you can bury that person and move on with your life. The homosexuality, the pain seems never ending. Her son stayed away from the family for 11 years before returning. Uh, and then it goes into a, uh, another quote, and then here's this one. Uh, a father's story. Uh, Mark! I hesitated, not knowing just how to ask. Then I blurted out, Mark, are you involved with other men? For a moment, Mark was too embarrassed to look at us directly. He quietly said, Dad, Mom, I must tell you now that I am gay. His answer was not offered in pride. Actually, he almost seemed to cringe. Our hearts fell. 
until a few days earlier, we had no suspicion whatsoever that this was the case. Furiously, the questions raced through our minds. How could our son, so active in his Christian witness, only a few weeks before, suddenly reject the clear teaching of Scripture? Oh, Who had God. seduced him? What kind of a person was he? Where had we failed him? <laughs> had we not reared him to be God-fearing? Why, Mark? Why? Why? Whatever the losses you're experiencing, the result is the same. You're thrown into what research as a therapist, building on the work of Elizabeth Kubler-Ross, called Stages of Grief, or the Grief Cycle. As you consider these stages, remember that while acknowledging the cycles of grief may be helpful, it is woefully inadequate to describe what is going on in the heart, to portray the pain you may feel, the rush of thoughts and questions and the waves of emotions. Kubler-Ross models simply gives us a framework and some language of understanding what's happening inside those who grieve. On to another story. <clears throat> another story. I feel as if I've been kicked in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> the person! I feel as if I've been kicked in the stomach. All possibility of recovery, nay. <laughs> All of my air went out of me. I wanted to die. I'm not sure how long I was silent, but think that I finally got the courage to say something like, okay, how long has this been going on? Or something like that. I honestly am not positive. I know for sure that God gave me the grace to not scream as I wanted to do. That agonizing scream that only a mother who has lost a child can scream. <laughs> God enabled me to talk calmly. First off, let's compare this. My, my child is in love with the same sex. Death of, of, a, of a child. They go hand in hand, you see. In the, in, in the interlocking fingers of God, that is the both ring finger and middle finger. Uh, the first stage is denial. You feel numb and shocked. You think, this can't be happening. When Barbara Johnson first found a stack of gay pornography in her son's bedroom, she said to herself, it's by the evidence. Surely he's using this material for some school project on the subject. Perhaps he had a friend whom he was trying to help. That was Larry, always wanting to help someone. <laughs> the second stage is anger. You're mad at yourself, God, your loved one, your spouse, other people, or the whole world. You might berate yourself. Why didn't I know this? How could I miss what was happening? You shouted, God, how could you let this happen? Anyways. Often underneath anger is pain, fear, frustration. The book of, uh, this P, Silent and Dissolved. Uh, I don't know the Bible that well. I don't know the book. I'm going to say the P is Silent. The book of Psalms contains examples of others who have expressed anger, questioning, or pain to God. Reading these may be helpful. When Job is grieving over all his losses, he answers his comforter, saying, Do you intend to reprove my words with the words of one in despair belongs to one? Okay, I'm getting tired of this. And then bored. This is boring. This podcast is boring. God, God gave me a gay son, and I did not always think it a blessing. It's January 20th, 2004. Hold up. Okay. Before I read this, I'll... Okay, so January 20th, 2004. This little bottom part, before you actually click on the link on Google, says, Of course I love him still. But how could my son be gay? He wasn't like that. It simply wasn't plausible. I just had to fix it. Yet what can I do? I realized today how little I knew. Ooh, a little bit of rhyme. High five. Eat. Mark gazes out of the small window of his dorm room. As the yeah. Saturday morning in the bitter cold bleakness outside matched his mood. He may have made a mistake going to school so far north and so far from home, but he had chosen the school in northern Michigan because he loved the natural environment of the North Country where he could ski, hike in the woods, and enjoy the serenity of the sparsely populated place. Mark also had thought college would bring people into his life who wanted a good educational experience, people with whom he could be open and find companionship, but the dream turned into a nightmare. His anguish, realizing that he was attracted to some of the young men around him and the conviction that those feelings would disgust people, fed his terrible feeling of isolationism. 
isolation and left him feeling numb. He didn't think it was his fault. He wondered if God had made him that way. It was a problem he could talk about, not to family, not to friends. Uh, no one can help him. Even God didn't answer. <laughs> like he does. So on this Saturday morning, Mark realized nothing really mattered anymore. It could only get worse. While I frightened him, having considered it for quite a long time, he also knew how he could fix it. The only way to confront this demon was to end it all. Nobody would understand it anyways. He didn't understand it. He knew he was gay, and he knew being gay was an abomination. So he would put him into his agony. Suicide, he had decided, okay, uh, would be less painful to his family than revealing to them who he really was. Oh, well, I shall, uh, say be gone, thought. Because I don't plan on what to do when your child says I'm gay. I remember what my mother said. What she said? I don't remember. Hold up. <laughs> I remember what my mother said. Uh, uh, she, we were in the car and she was like, I thought you were going to say oh, you're gay or something. I was like, oh yeah, I am. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay. She, she kind of like pause and like sort of did a double take. Because because of who I am, my response is more than likely threw her off. So she more than like but see here's the thing. She, she might have thought you were joking. She hasn't like, yeah, that's the thing. Uh, she hasn't brought it up since then, so uh She fears, but she fears I feel like uh, she's forgotten. Silently. But uh, what happened is that, uh, what was it? Uh what was her response? It's something along the lines of, is there some dude you like? I'm like, yeah, there's this dude in 12th grade, he's really cool to like him. And, uh, here I am today. Did, did she wish you luck? No. She was just like, okay. And then, we went inside. And then she, like, came in and she was like, uh, cause, like, earlier, like, y'all had to do something, so, uh, I couldn't come over. And my mom was like, uh, is Cody and Gavin? And I'm like, maybe no. I wonder if that hurt her feelings. Yeah, I told my cousins before I told my mother. I bet that really did. Doubt it. Well, I don't know. I don't know your mother. Hey, you may ask me three one. more questions, bitch. What the fuck? I don't... <sighs> Chocolate or vanilla, asshole? Chocolate, bitch. Hell yeah, man. High five. Yeah, my girl's mixed. Uh-oh, yeah. But, uh... Hey, that means I half like her. High five. Thank you. But anyways, I'm not racist. But anyways, I'm not racist. This is I'm not racist, racist so. but those damn wops. <laughs> Them ooga boogas, I swear, how they go, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> And they're like, and they're all the oh, oh, your mother was a damn cheap. Ah, <laughs> uh, you like the taste of the fruits from the forest, I see. <laughs> What we got with you, <laughs> you filthy nickel grabber? <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Okay. I, I one need, last thing before okay, we get one this last thing. I need a big old question. I need a big question, okay? Which came first? I did. All right. With that being said, we shall see you in the next podcast. 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 Boys, <laughs> put put my pot in the casket. Am I right? <laughs>